Governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Mr. Godwin Amefele, met with President Muhammadu Buhari over the weekend to bring him up to speed on the progress made with the implementation of the redesigned Naira banknotes. It was there that a 10-day extension of the initial deadline for the collection of old Naira notes was announced. On Tuesday, the governor also met with members of the House of Representatives had a committee on Naira redesign and cash swap policy to clarify issues around the policy. And on Thursday, the Apex Bank issued a press release to inform the general public that deposit money banks have been directed to begin paying the redesigned Naira notes over the counter with a maximum daily limit of 20,000 Naira, while assuring that sellers and abusers of Naira bank notes will be prosecuted. We have details of all these stories in today's package, plus the unveiling of the National Domestic Cap Scheme AFRIGO last Thursday. Stay tuned, we'll be back shortly. Hey there, have you seen the newly introduced series of 200 Naira, 500 Naira and 1000 Naira banknotes? Beautiful banknotes. Beneath those aesthetic features are clearly visible and some invisible security features that are improvements on the old 200 Naira, 500 Naira and 1000 Naira banknotes. On the front of the new banknotes are portrait watermarks, currency value watermark and figures that change from blue to green when you tilt the banknotes. The new 500 Naira banknote has a silver patch on the left hand side. The new 200 Naira banknote also has a gold patch on the left side. The reverse side of the two banknotes are similar. Portrait watermarks, see-through printing in register and raised integral print. These features will protect the Naira from counterfeiting. Remember to take your old 200, 500 and 1000 Naira banknotes to your bank or mobile money agent. For further details call 0817. 665-7641 or 0817-665-7642. Venaira is our national pride. Let's embrace the new currency. This message is from the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN. Welcome back. The Central Bank of Nigeria once again demonstrated that it has a listening ear and that its policies are people-oriented when on Sunday, January the 29th, CBN Governor Mr. Godwin Emefele, after his meeting with President Muhammadu Buhari in Dara, Katsina State, announced the extension of deadline for collection of old 200, 500 and 1,000 Naira banknotes by 10 days from the initial January 31st to 10th of February. Mr. Emefele sympathized with Nigerians who have been finding it difficult to obtain the redesigned Naira banknotes, highlighting the measures put in place by the Apex Bank to make the process less stressful. To achieve this effective distribution of the new currency, the CBN has taken the following steps. A. We held several meetings with our deposit money banks and provided them with guidance notes on processes they must adopt in the collection of old notes and distribution of the new notes to all Nigerians. <coughs> These include specific directives to deposit money banks to load new notes into their ATMs nationwide to ensure an equitable and transparent mechanism for the distribution of the new notes to all Nigerians. B, we commence the nationwide sensitization <coughs> through the print and electronic media to create an awareness on the residing notes to Nigerians, including collaboration with the National Orientation Agency to reach all Nigerians across multiple channels. C, we deployed 30,000 super agents nationwide to assist in our cash swap initiative in the hinterlands, rural areas, and regions underserved by banks in the country to ensure that the weak and vulnerable ones amongst us can swap or exchange their old notes. D, we deployed all our staff, particularly those of the grades of assistant director, deputy directors, and directors in Abuja, to proceed to all CBM branches nationwide to join the mass mobilization campaign and monitoring program working with the deposit money banks, agents, and our branch controllers across the 36 states of the Federation. This is meant to ensure compliance with all our guidelines already issued for smooth implementation of the program. Although we have received some reports of breaches by some bank branches, we have agreed with the executive chairman of the EFCC and ICPC to assist us by sending their staff to all CBN 
and bank branches nationwide to join in monitoring the implementation of these guidelines. The aim is to ensure compliance with the laid down guidelines. E, we are happy that so far, the exercise achieved a success of over 75% of the 2.7 trillion Naira held outside the banking system. Nigerians in the rural areas, our villages, the aged and the vulnerable have had the opportunity to swap their old notes, leveraging the agent Naira swap initiative, as well as the CBN senior staff nationwide sensitization exercise. F, aside from those holding illicit and stolen Naira in their homes for speculative purpose, we do aim to give all Nigerians that have Naira legitimately earned and trapped the opportunity to deposit their legitimately trapped monies at the CBN for exchange. Based on the foregoing, we have today sought and obtained Mr. President's approval for the following. One, a 10-day extension of the deadline from January 31, 2023 to February 10, 2023 to allow for collection of more old notes legitimately held by Nigerians and achieve more success in cash swap in our rural areas, in our villages and, and communities, after which all old notes outside the CBN loses their legal tender status. Our CBN staff, currently on mass mobilization and monitoring, monitoring, together with officials of the EFCC and ICPC, will work together to achieve these objectives in the coming days. Two, a seven-day grace period, beginning on February 10 to February 17, 2023, in compliance with Section 20, Subsection 3, and Section 22 of the CBN Act, allowing Nigerians to deposit their old notes at the CBN after the February deadline, when the old currency would have lost its legal tender status. We therefore appeal to all Nigerians to work with the Central Bank of Nigeria to achieve a hitch free process for the implementation of this very important program. Like I said in the press statement, you will see that I admitted that some bank branches have, are breaching our guidelines. Only two days ago, myself, the chairman of EFCC, chairman of ICPC, and the CEO of Nigerian Financial Intelligence Unit, we held a meeting and we agreed for that for the remaining days for this to end, that EFCC and, and ICPC officials will go with CBN people to make sure that, first of all, the new notes are being swapped the way the guidelines have been provided. For those who either, and, I, and I'm saying this, even if there are CBN staff involved, they will be sanctioned. We will track them. Luckily, those non-Naira, they, they, have, they have trackers. We have their numbers because they, they, have, they have been issued. Once we see these numbers, we will track them and we will, ex we, will, we will make public those that are involved in this business of selling new Naira notes, whereas there are people who are suffering in the villages that need those new Naira notes. We will deal with them. Governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Mr. Godwin Emefele, on Tuesday honored the invitation of the House of Representatives Special Haddock Committee on Naira Redesign and Cash Swap Policy to provide clarity on the policy and address issues generated. Mr. Emefele apologized to the committee for his absence at previous sittings, citing his annual leave and an official assignment to Dakar, Senegal for the absence. Chairman of the Haddock Committee and leader of the House of Representatives, Honorable Al Hassan Ado Dogua said the House supports the cashless policy of the Apex Bank, asking the CBN governor to, however, explain, among other things, issues of the timing of the policy. Yes, by the CBN Act, the governor has the power to redesign Nera or recall it's not. Yes, it's your singular power, and we must help you protect that power and do it in the interest of Nigerian people. We like, but, but however, one of the burning questions is that, yes, we agreed you have the powers. Yes, you are protected by the law to redesign Nigerian Naira. Why this time? Why this time? Now, besides the general practice across the globe, and that practice is that every five to eight years, a central bank 
is supposed to redesign or give some form of changes to its currency. The reason is because the central bank has to be in a position from time to time to have firm control of money supply in the country. Unfortunately, we have, all, we have not had the luxury of carrying out this important aspect of our mandate in the last almost 19 years. Now, the president graciously gave approval on October 6, 2022. And we had expected that by around December 15, the currency would begin to circulate. But we were lucky that we moved forward the circulation and it started in November when the president launched the currency. And since then, the central bank has taken a number of actions to make sure that this currency circulates as new as it is. Unfortunately, and indeed, I addressed the bankers on Sunday and I expressed to them my disappointment and in fact, disappointment of the president, disappointment of leaders in the country about the way this has gone on. Because many of us have unfortunately seen the new Naira, instead of being used the, for the purpose it is meant, the new Naira is being used in parties, in celebrations. And, I, and some of them said, well, maybe it's money from the ATM. I said, no. Money from the ATMs are already broken. They are, on, they are in leaflets. But the mo what we saw being stamped on people at parties were packets of the new Naira notes, which means that they had breached certain aspects of the guidance notes we gave to them. And I told them, and indeed, when I met President Buhari, I told him that we, even the previous, they had met with the EFCC, ICPC, and the NFIU, and that we were now going to bring the EFCC, ICPC, NFIU to join us in monitoring the flow of this currency to our people. And I must say that I'm even very delighted. Only yesterday again, I even read that the DSS themselves have even started, which is what we want. So that everybody knows that we are conducting this activity to the best of our abilities. We are beginning to see some of the benefits. Like I said, inflation last month somewhat trended. At least it's not rising, it's not stagnating, it's somewhat moderating. And we're thinking and expecting that they will continue to moderate. Exchange rate will still be relatively stable. And what we're even hoping with this exercise, that Naira can even get stronger. With this exercise, we have seen that with this, we're able to support the activities of our security agencies. Um, and I'm happy, and I'm sure we all know, or some of us know that, the incidence of banditry and ransom taking has somewhat at least reduced at this time subject to the content of the CBN Act Section 20, subsection 3, which says, even after the currency, old currency has lost its legal tender status, that we are mandated to collect those monies. And I stand with the House of Representatives on this. What does that mean? You could have lost its legal tender status, in which case we have moved on, but you have your uh, money that you have not been able to send into the bank, we certainly will give you the opportunity to bring them back into the CBN, redeem it, either you pay it in your bank account or you want to do exchange, we give you. You will not lose your money. That is the assurance I give to Nigeria. I want to appeal. This is not an easy exercise. It is not an easy exercise, but we are happy that in 19 years, we are able to carry out this important aspect of our mandate. We are grateful that we are doing this. We want to do it, but we seek the support and cooperation of everybody. Support of Nigerians, cooperation of Nigerians. At these initial stages, there will be a few hitches, there will be a few glitches, 
we apologize. But I'm trying to say this. The overriding interest is the Nigerian economy. Make Nigerian economy stronger. Make Nigerian economy better. Because that is what we owe Nigerians. The CBN released a press statement on Thursday to address three main issues. One was that sellers and abusers of Naira will be prosecuted. Another was to assure Nigerians that queues at ATMs will soon disappear. And lastly, that the bank has directed deposit money banks to start paying the redesigned Naira notes over the counter. Director of CBN Corporate Communications Department, Mr. Osita Mwanisobi, in the press release to the general public said, the Apex Bank has observed with grave concern the activities of persons who sell the redesigned Naira banknotes and those who flagrantly abuse the legal tender by hurling wads of Naira notes in the air, stamping on the currency at social functions. The bank said it has equally noticed the queues at automated teller machines across the country and a rise in the trend of people stocking and aggregating the redesigned banknotes as well as the worrisome cases of unregistered persons and non-bank officials swapping narrow notes for citizens purportedly on behalf of the CBN. Mr. Wanisobi stated that the central bank is collaborating with the police, FIRS, EFCC and the Nigerian Financial Intelligence Unit to bring all such unpatriotic citizens to book. The maximum redesigned Naira note that can be obtained over the counter at commercial banks is 20,000 Naira daily, while Nigerians are being encouraged to use other payment channels available for their transactions. Thanks for staying tuned. You're watching From the CBN, a weekly program that brings to you reports and expert analysis of the actions, policies, events, and economic initiatives of the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN. Last Thursday was the official brand unveil and launch of the first African Central Bank-led National Domestic Card Scheme, AFRIGO, meant to address our local peculiarities, strengthen the national payment system, and deepen the usage of electronic platforms in Nigeria. At the virtual event, the technical consultant on the Nigerian National Domestic Card Scheme, Mr. Andrew Walden, during his presentation, listed sovereign control of data, lower cost of operation, increased financial inclusion, and reduced foreign currency usage among the benefits of the card scheme. Domestic card schemes over time are seen as part of the critical national infrastructure. And by that I mean they underpin how society operates and they demand that certainty of operation that sovereign control can bring. A key proposition of international schemes is that, is that they open up global usage. That's of very little relevance to much of the market in Nigeria. A domestic scheme, in contrast, can focus its efforts in enabling a multitude of local use cases. And then from a cost perspective, domestic schemes can operate at a much lower cost than international schemes through having a much more focused proposition set. If you put together, add local costs and a locally focused use case, add those together and you get much clearer progress against financial inclusion targets. And importantly, domestic cards can avoid the costs of schemes being in foreign currency. Costs can be purely Naira based. So for Nigeria, all of these drivers across sovereign control, enabling local use, driving financial inclusion, reducing in industry costs, 
and, and reducing foreign currency usage are highly relevant. There's a myriad of examples that I could fill today's session with um, uh, that, that illustrate the true potential of domestic card schemes. I could have referenced MADA in Saudi Arabia, or Bankomat in Italy, or Dinocard in Serbia, or one of around 50 others. But let me just, just, just draw attention to three. In India, the launch of Rupay has now reached 600 million cards and 6.3 million acceptance points. Locally relevant usage has, has been enabled through disbursement of social grants, payment of mass transit and government payments. And Rupay has acted as a key part of perhaps the world's largest financial inclusion program that has so far delivered an extra 400 million bank accounts. The chief launcher and governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Mr. Godwin Amefele, in his remarks said, since 2012, when the CBN cashless policy started, the bank has been deliberating, collaborating with relevant stakeholders to enhance the payment infrastructure through initiatives such as the bank verification number BVN, the shared agent network facility SANEF, regulatory sandbox, the ENERA, among others. He added that the cashless policy has created value engendered competition and attracted investment into the banking and payment ecosystem. The CBN has also over time focused attention on robust development of financial service touch points, including our automated teller machines ATM, point of, a point of sales, terminals, POS, and agent networks. The success of the shared agent network expansion facility has led to growth in the number of our agents to about 1.5 million across the Federation with the capacity to accept card payments from Nigerians. Whilst the penetration of card payments in Nigeria has grown tremendously over the years, many Nigerians are still excluded. The challenges that have limited the inclusion of Nigerians include the high cost of card services as a result of foreign exchange requirements of international card schemes and the fact that existing card products do not address local peculiarities of the Nigerian market. Given the limited usage of cards by Nigerians and in a bid to deepen penetration, the bank actively promoted a national domestic card scheme which will be accessible to all Nigerians and also address our local peculiarities. This scheme is therefore an important plug in the gap that has remained with us since the cashless policy was introduced in 2012. It is important to note that the establishment of national domestic card schemes is in line with domestic global trends. Nigeria, by this initiative, will therefore be joining countries like China, Russia, Turkey, and India, who have launched domestic card schemes and harness the transformative benefits for their respective payments and financial systems, particularly for the underbanked. This effort is not a quest to prevent international service providers from continuing to provide services in Nigeria. Rather, it is aimed at providing more options for domestic consumers, whilst also promoting the delivery of services in a more innovative, cost-effective, and competitive manner. Birthed in Nigeria with continental aspiration, the National Domestic Card Scheme is expected to open up opportunities for the economy, integrate the informal sector, reduce shadow banking, and further strengthen the stability of the banking industry. That's all from the CBN this week. You can report on reserved banking issues to the CBN Consumer Protection Department using the email address cpd at cbn.gov.ng attached relevant documents. Call the CBN contact center on the phone line plus 234-700-225-226. Look how correct may apply. Write to us through the email address from the CBN at gmail.com. Follow us on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter for updates and to watch uploaded episodes of the program. We invite you to join us again next time. I am Willie Misi Dada. Stay safe. Bye for now.